And he assured me today that they will not be buying oil from Russia. Inu has dismissed U.S. President Donald Trump's claim of a recent telephonic conversation with Prime Minister Modi, in which Donald Trump alleged that PM Modi had assured him that India would stop buying oil from Russia. A Pakistani journalist has alleged that India has dispatched technicians to Afghanistan to refurbish Russian and American man pads and help Afghanistan establish training facilities aimed at countering aerial incursions by Pakistan Air Force. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has announced that BrahMos Aerospace has signed two new export contracts worth 4,000 crore rupees with two countries in just a month. Indian Army's Fire and Fury Corps demonstrated multi-domain operations in high-altitude areas of Ladakh. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and UP Chief Minister witnessed virtual Su-30 strike demonstration at the BrahMos Aerospace Lucknow facility, and they also flagged off the first batch of Lucknow-made BrahMos missiles. The 800 km range BrahMos LR missile will be ready by end of 2026, that will ensure full coverage across the entire breadth of Pakistan from standoff positions within Indian territory. During the visit of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh to HAL's Nashik complex, HAL has showcased radar absorbent material panels for the Su-30 developed jointly by HAL and DRDO, that will enhance the Super Shukhoi's stealth profile by reducing its radar cross-section. Larsen and Tubro officials have revealed that the indigenous Zorawa light tank features a modular design, allowing future upscaling to 30 to 35 ton variants with 120 mm gun for desert or heavy protection roles without redesigning the hull. Embraer Defense and Mohindra Group have signed a strategic cooperation agreement to promote the C-390 Millennium for the Indian Air Force's medium transport aircraft program. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has announced that the weapon trials on the Tejas Mark 1A will be completed in the coming months, which means the Air Force will not be receiving Tejas Mark 1A in the next few months. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has started manufacturing the first prototype of Russia's Su-75 fifth generation Checkmate stealth fighter jet. The Indian Army's T-90S main battle tank has been spotted with a newly designed anti-UAS top attack protection system, and this refined design will replace the older bulky cope cages. The DRDOL and T Zorawa light tank has successfully test fired the Nag Mark II anti-tank guided missile. The test achieved pinpoint accuracy and full mission success, validating the tank missile integration. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders Limited has signed an exclusive memorandum of understanding with France's Naval Group to jointly offer the upgraded Scorpion class submarines to a mutually friendly country that is pursuing its submarine acquisition program. Officials have confirmed that the RDO's 550 km range Rudrum 3 hypersonic missile will feature exceptionally high 90% hit probability, a figure rarely achieved in air launched weapon systems. This means 9 out of 10 missiles are expected to strike their targets accurately, even when enemy air defenses attempt interception. The Indian Air Force chief inspected the newly developed M2 solid rocket motor at Solar Industries facility, which is a vital component of DRDO's Project KUSA long-range surface-to-air missile system. The M2 motor will power the M2 interceptor through hypersonic mid-course and terminal phases using high-energy solid propellant and advanced nozzle technology, and the motor signals readiness for full-scale trials by 2026. Today's top 3 comments. 